Have you ever wondered what you would do if, during sports or if you met with a road traffic accident, your chut suddenly popped out? Before we move any further, there are two terms I need you to understand, tooth evolution and reimplantation. Now in dentistry, when a tooth is displaced out of its socket, it's known as a tooth evulsion. And the process of planting this tooth back into the socket is known as reimplantation. Now if it's a child who's lost his baby tooth, then you don't have to worry too much about the milk tooth that has been lost because dentists rarely reimplant these teeth back into the mouth. Nevertheless, it's still important to book an appointment with the dentist as soon as possible to rule out the possibility of any remaining tooth fragments or presence of foreign bodies such as glass or dirt. Maybe there is a fracture that needs to be addressed or just to control the bleeding. Now the treatment plan completely changes if it's a permanent tooth. Therefore, if your child is between 6 to 12 years old and has naturally shedding baby teeth and normally erupting permanent teeth, and you don't know if the tooth that popped out during sports is a permanent tooth or a baby tooth, it's best to take that tooth and come to the dentist during your appointment. Now if you're certain it's a permanent tooth, then you must remember that the best management and best prognosis of this tooth that has evolved is when you act right at the site of the accident. What you want to do is pick up the tooth by the crown and not the root. Remember it's the crown and I'll tell you why in a bit, but pick it up by the crown, take it under a tap and wash it under cold running water for about 10 seconds. If this is the stream of water you're placing the tooth under, make sure you rotate the tooth and clean it from all angles before you place it in your mouth. This will ensure that you remove all dirt, debris, mud, grass, whatever was on the tooth and make sure it's much cleaner. Okay, so once you wash the tooth for 10 seconds under cold water, now place it back into your mouth and try to reposition it back into the socket, all right? After this, what you wanna do is you wanna take a towel or a handkerchief or a tissue or maybe your own t-shirt and bite into that. Now the pressure from biting will help stabilize the tooth into the socket and also will help reduce the bleeding. So keep biting and make sure you're on your way to the dentist. Now the reason why I've asked you not to tamper or play with the root portion too much is because it has special cells known as the periodontal ligament cells on it which are very delicate and very sensitive to any changes in the environment. Now these cells help attach the tooth to the bone. And so your main aim in this whole management is to keep these cells alive as long as possible so that they can help your tooth reattach into the bone. In case you can't replant this tooth back into your mouth, don't worry, take this tooth to your dentist and he will help you replant this tooth. Now, the most important factor is that while you're on your way with that tooth to the dentist, make sure the tooth does not dry out. This is a very important step to make sure that these periodontal ligament cells do not die. So you have to keep the tooth moist and what you can do is you can place it in a cup of whole pasteurized milk. If you can't find milk, maybe you can find coconut water. Nothing at all you can find. Take your own saliva and embed the tooth within that. So here is the timeline of what to do before you go to the dentist, okay? So if the tooth fell out and it's a permanent tooth, you want to run it under cold water for 10 seconds and then place it back into your mouth and bite onto a handkerchief. If you can't do this within 5 minutes, take the tooth, place it on a cup of milk and rush to the dentist. Now make sure that the tooth is placed within the storage medium within a minimum of 5 minutes or a maximum of 1 hour. Now in such a case, when a tooth is evolved, the prognosis drops drastically by every minute. So you want to act, you want to be prompt and you want to be quick. Now at the dentist's office, the dentist will quickly examine you, check if there are any other issues that need to be addressed as well, take radiographs and treat this tooth that you brought to him in a special solution just to make the prognosis better when he replants it back into your mouth. Now once the tooth is replanted back in your mouth, the dentist is going to splint that tooth. Now what splinting means is that the dentist will take a wire-like material and stick it behind the replanted tooth and the adjacent teeth to improve the support 
of the replanted tooth until it's healed completely. So generally, dentists would splint the tooth for about two to four weeks, which means for two to four weeks, while the tooth is healing and while it's reattaching to the bone, make sure you don't bite in that area. Try to chew on soft foods and try to eat from the other side of the mouth. Now, this all will contribute to a faster healing and a firmer and a more stable tooth. Now at this emergency appointment, you will definitely get painkillers, you may be given antibiotics, or you may be recommended a tetanus booster. Now, after about 10 days of the emergency appointment, the dentist may recall you to check on the tooth and may perform a root canal treatment to reduce the risk of infection. To summarize, if you've lost a baby tooth, then don't worry about replantation, but do book an appointment with the dentist at the earliest to rule out any other possibilities or issues that may need to be addressed. Secondly, if it's a permanent tooth, make sure you replant it back into the mouth at the site of the accident to have the best prognosis for that tooth. However, if you can't do so, don't worry, take that tooth, put it in a glass of milk or coconut water or saliva and bring it to the dentist to be treated further. Lastly, if you could not find the tooth that fell out or you couldn't save it on time, do not lose hope. Your dentist will help restore your smile and he can do this with the help of a denture or a bridge or even an implant. So there are many options available today and do not lose hope because you will be given your beautiful smile back. Until next time, bye!